Thank you very much. Good morning. The 4th December 2021 presidential election took place in a competitive and vibrant campaign environment. All candidates met with voters throughout the country to send their messages. It promoted the democratic tendencies within Gambian society and a growing transitional perspective. This tendency, however, was disconnected from the structural problems and lack of fundamental reform. The money-driven campaigns and the advantage of the incumbent, incumbent also led to an unlevel playing field between contestants. Pooling and counting were well administ administered during a peaceful election day. The extensive participation of citizen observers, including fact checking initiatives, helped voters navigate the process and contributed to its transparency. The legal framework provides a minimal basis for conducting democratic elections. Also, there are critical gaps that require significant reform. As no comprehensive constitutional or electoral reform has taken place, previous EU election observation mission recommendations in key areas, including restrictions on the right to vote and stand, challenges to candidate nomination, and campaign finance rules remain unaddressed. The IEC has been held in high value by stakeholders since the 2016 presidential election. This public standing was, was getting less after court findings that the IEC had acted unlawfully. The duties of the IEC are very broad, but the capacity of the institution is modest. There have also been concerns raised by various interlocutors about a lack of transparency on aspects of their work with minimal information put into the public domain. The IAC announced that just six nominations had been accepted, the other 15 had been rejected. There had been a brief period of public review during which objections could be made by voters. Interested parties, however, were granted access for just five minutes. This exercise was not meaningful, as voters did not have a real opportunity to scrutinize the documentation and gather the information required to make grounded objections. Throughout the campaign, freedoms were largely respected and campaigning was issue-based, also highly personalized. Social media was employed widely. Throughout the country, campaigns met with voters extensively at large rallies in towns, down to small meetings at the village level. Women took an active part. Also, they were rarely in leadership positions. Lack of campaign finance regulation added to an unlevel playing field. This was shown by widespread distribution of goods and gifts, giving the incumbent an undue advantage. Despite journalists and citizens being able to voice their opinions, the media legal framework severely restricts freedom of expression. In practice, 
the allocation of TV licenses to big business undermined media freedom and pluralism. The media rules on campaign coverage provide for free airtime and the right to purchase airtime, but unduly restrict candidates' right to free speech. Facebook, with some half a million users, was the prime online discussion forum on elections. WhatsApp was instrumental in mobilizing the electorate while also accelerating the spread of false news that gave a wrong picture of the campaign environment. The Gambia's top 10 news infotainment pages on Facebook upheld a strong and pluralistic debate. However, this information confused voters while tribal rhetoric shrank this space for a fact-based debate. National fact-checking gave more transparency and made electoral integrity stronger. Women have been active. Also, their role in the presidential race has been limited. One woman tried to be nominated, but was rejected. Further positive action is needed to promote political participation for dismissed groups. Election day was calm and voter turnout high, with long queues throughout the day. The overall performance of pulling stuff was assessed as good. Also, limited difficulties were observed. Some undermined the secrecy of the vote. Counting procedures were not always followed and result, results forms were not always publicly posted or provided to candidate agents. Final results were announced with progress by constituency which promoted transparency. Thank you very much.